hi everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to download gstr 2a and comparing of 2a intel application and data validation and again a report exporting and filing returns on a gstr portal look here there is an option in tally application in whenever we are opening gstr 2a there is an option here lo load file by pressing alt plus l and now here I'm just downloading GSTR 2A from GST portal. Now I just downloaded this file from the portal of GST. This is my GSTR 2A, which is auto draft in my portal. In our application, just press Alt plus X to load file and, and again put the file location that was located in EF drive gstr2 compare now the file it is it locate it is locating the file name automatically which is downloaded from gstr portal simply load the file and here it is giving a chance to you file loaded successfully total number of invoices loaded 7 update reconciliation of invoices status yes i want to update if you are setting update see here out of uh, uh, now can observe the black one is in the account of books the uh, the blue one is in the account of portal okay in my portal i entered totally seven entries okay total out of nine seven entries are auto draft in my portal but in my as per my company books there is totally nine vouchers and if, the, if there is a rank and uh, uh, let us uh, complete our reconciliation just uh, simply press enter on the same vouchers You can observe there is a there is a mismatch between uh, my company books and my portal uh, details. So le let us verify the data. Just press enter. In my uh, in my system, I entered totally seven entries, but in but uh, in my in my in my portal, I total draft for seven transactions. In my system, there is totally nine entries. Now this is the draw. Can observe the first part name is our big exhibition limited private limited in my system in in the portal he, he entered rupees 50,000 but in my common books I entered by mistake only 50 and he charged and okay and he he entered as char tax rupees down to 9,000 but in my system I entered only 9 rupees so there is a mismatch so that's why there is giving a message as not completed by default tally all already validated the data is finished now this is a message as complete and not complete not complete means we need to rectify right now no no you need to compare this is 50 or right yeah 50,000 is right you need to verify from your invoices if you are failing is the 50,000 is right you need to accept the same at the same time you need to update in your, comp in your books You need to accept. You need to accept in the in your books. You need to set the status by pressing Alt plus S. You can set the status. For example, if, if the fifty thousand is wrong, then you need to by pressing Alt plus S. You need to reject this transaction. No, there is a mismatch in my in my company books uh, I that is showing only 50 rupees like this I get the charge 9 so I'm just uh, I'm satisfied okay I know now uh, now I got the knowledge about the same thing so the 50,000 and 9,000 is right so I'm just changing in my in my books first of all I'm changing the invoice number when the there is a mismatch the data of portal and the when the company books automatically tally will put a message as not complete then for the transaction we need to review once now here i was simply change that uh, values 50,000 and 9,000 won't save after one saving this the transaction will be updated with a new status uh, simply here i'm saving uh, i'm just saving the voucher now you can observe matched but the status not updated matched but the status not updated so now you, you supposed to press alt places and again go to set status and that is the actual procedure to do
या सेट स्टेटस एज एक्सेप्टेड Yeah, here I'm just setting the status as accepted. When your portal is showing the wrong wrong inputs, then you can select as reject. Now the out of three, the one rectified. Now there is only two not completed entries because of the there is a reason. Four thousand seven hundred for the but there is a reason. There is a wrong in invoice number. The first wrong it there is about invoice values. Now it is about invoice numbers. Now there is a mismatch between invoice numbers. And he entered 2017 and yes, yes, one zero one four. But in my system, I entered the wrong address. So now it is we need to file. We need to file the same again. In the portal, I mentioned two zero one six means so 2017 and 18. Uh, I yes, I was 14. But in my portal, it is getting by default. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to show the same. So like that, you need to verify each and every entry. Match but status not updated. So here again, I'm just selecting accepted. When in the portal there is a wrong input, then you can select directly reject. Now here I am just verifying given the last one also, and it is it is having the value support fifty thousand one hundred The last transaction. Partially matched. Now, now, now it is partial. It is only partially matched. Means if the there any description is mismatch. So in that case, it gives a message like this. See, so yeah, now we can observe the re reconciliation status is completed. Reconciliation status is completed. So like that, you need to complete each and every. Okay, you can observe there is the last option available only in books. Now this is one of the major thing again. Now this entry is didn't entered by your vendor. Your vendor didn't updated in his sales record, so that is, that that is not reflecting in your purchase record. So you need to you need to add this manually. Now here I'm just verifying the first initial. Is the party JS number is wrong or not? Is that is right or wrong? I'm just verifying the party. Okay, it is showing the right party name, so I can continue with the same name. I'm just I just verified the voucher. Yeah. So when when there is a new entry which is reflecting only only in your company books, then you need to set the status as new because of you supposed to you supposed to update this on, on the portal yeah by setting the status new we need to export the file after once completion of this procedure we, we can ex we can export the star portal and it is mandatory to set a new to set status as new for a entry which is showing only in your company and, and which is not reflected in your in your company in your, in your portal then you need to set the status as new it is mandatory now it is giving a message like this only export transaction available only in the books with the status of new now it is going to export only the new transactions at the same time even modify transactions also
and if you are, if you are feeling all are all right this simply is it accept if, if there is any if there is any wrong inputs in the portal this mention uh, reject if, the, if there is any new entry showing only in your computer books and which is not presented in the portal then you can send the status as new and finally you need to export your report now you see you can observe the status has been updated with new now just come back and this is the regular version in, in each and every month you need to come you need to down you need to download this to a auto draft from the portal and again you need to compare in what in your in your application Yeah, after, after once completion of reconciliation, you can export the report by pressing Alt plus E, export. Now here you simply press yes, yes or no. Export transaction available only in the book. If you want to export only the books report, just make the option as yes. If you want to submit all report, just keep, keep, just mention app, uh, mention option as no. So here uh, by setting the no, no uh, Now here I am just simply exporting my report by, by putting yes. Now see it was generated two files. Now this file is supposed to upload in GSTR2 portal. In GSTR2 returns. You downloaded from GSTR2A and you compared in GSTR2 after once comparison for new transaction is supposed to export then that only is supposed to upload in GSTR2A portal. In this start two year uh, two year returns. Now I'm just opening the my J uh, J star portal, so I just um, simply selected J uh, July. Now there is an option here: prepare and prepare offline. Prepare online is only for when there is a few transactions. Then directly we can add the transaction. When there is more than fifteen hundred, we need to go for online. Now here I'm just simply selecting the file which I already exported from file application. And the tally will support even JSON file at the same time even Excel also. It doesn't require to use any another third party. You can from tally application directly you can file returns. Now there is a, if there is an error, the system gives a message like this. If the when whether there is no error, system gives a message like this is in progress and errors not available. Not